Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Before we start the ceremony, I want to announce that today is Welcome Home Vietnam War Veterans Day. Norm Gooden, one of our American Legion writers who's not able to be here today, was the person that was responsible for this declaration in the state of Washington. He worked tirelessly, tirelessly to convince Governor Gregoire to make this a former, formal Washington Day of Remembrance every year. We all served. Some of us served in country, others in some other foreign countries, some served at home, some were drafted, some were enlisted. Over 58,000 did not come home, but we all served. And this is the day that we remember those. Good afternoon. The Veterans Organization of Colum County jointly sponsored this ceremony. At 1300 hours, on the last Friday of each month, the names of those veterans of this area who have died the preceding month or previous from that are read. As each name is read, the Liberty Bell replica is struck once as a token of our respect and appreciation for the deceased service. It is written, no man is an island entire to itself. Any man's death diminishes me, because I am involved in mankind. Therefore, never send to know for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. Edward G. Barden. Carl. R. Bombwell. He served in the Merchant Marine, served in the Merchant Marine in World War II, and the Air Force in Libya and Southeast Asia. Roger Alexander Brown, United States Navy. Bruce Richard Burwell. Robert Jean Cotinho. Paul Elmer Davenport, Korean War. Donald Eugene Gay. David Anton Gettleman. Jerry William Hale or Haley. Jim Hopper, United States Army, Vietnam. Gerald Lane Hall. Justin Matthew Jackson, United States Army. (laughs) 
James Britton Blackson. Jeffrey Lane McDonald. Lawrence Taylor Meehan. Edgar Earl Miller, United States Marines, served in Vietnam. Maria Morgan. Frederick Joseph Nast. Ronald Philip Neverell, United States Navy. James Clifford Paulson. Clarence William Peacock. Email Richard Pearson or Person Jr. Larry Allen Rosenthal. Lauren Alden Schmidt, United States Navy, World War II, he was an aviation electronics mate. Harry Simpson served in the British Royal Army, World War II Engineering Corps. He was in France on D-Day Plus 5 and served in Belgium and Germany. Ronald James Spridgen. Robert Carlton Stuckey. Tyola Allen Sundberg. Bryce Oliver Tilton. Sharon Irene Ray. David James Zerby, United States Navy, served in the Korean War aboard the USS Essex. John G. Zettelmeyer. Today's flag is going to be presented to Valley Neverell, the wife of Ronald Neverell, and we're also going to present a second flag to Chase Johnson, the nephew of Jim Hopper. We read Jim Hopper's name in January, but the family all showed up today, so we're going to do it over.
that. Cases! Almighty and eternal God, Father of all faiths, we have gathered together for this remembrance, service to honor those veterans who you have called home to your realm this past month. While they have passed from our view, God, let them know they are still with us in memory. They are not forgotten. Amen. Cover. Flag detail.
This man. Dismissed. 